Hi, somebody asked me recently how I view the dingbats on my computer so that I know what letters relate to the little picture that I want to cut out with my scan and cut. Now, I use a Mac and on a Mac I use something called Fontbook, but I'm sure there'd be something similar available for Windows. So in today's video, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of how I use the Fontbook and hopefully you'll be able to have a look on your computer if it's Windows based or Google and find something similar. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Fontbook. Now on my Mac I use the F4 key on the keyboard and this is all the different applications I have and I have a folder called iLife and in, my, in this folder I have anything relating to apps that come with my, can, my Mac computer from Apple. So I've got GarageBand, iMovie, all that kind of thing and Fontbook is here. Now I've made that folder myself. So if you've not got that folder, the way that you would find it is come to Finder, which is the icon that looks like two halves of a face, um, generally in your taskbar on your computer, and open Finder. And then in the search box at the top, type Fontbook. It was on this Mac and it will find the application for you and it tells you it's in applications. So all you need to do then is go to applications and it will bring up all the applications that you've got and you should be able to find Fontbook that way. And then just open it. I'm just going to close that down. So this is now showing me all the fonts that I have on my Mac and it gives me thumbnail pictures of them all. So if I go to Butterfly, which is a dingbat font, when I then hover my mouse over each little picture, it tells me what letter or number or punctuation I have to use to use that picture. So if I come down and hover over this one here, it's telling me on this one I need to use the capital letter A. If I come down to this one here, it tells me this is a capital letter M. And I'll just go to another one. Here's a one with dogs. Another thing that I can do in the font book is I can alter the size of the pictures that I see by using this scroll bar here. So I can see them all everything that's in this one font, I can see them all in full or I can take them up and I can make them big. But again, what, every time I hover over, it will tell me. So this one is saying I use the ampersand. If I scroll down and use hover over this one, it says it's a comma. And that's how I know which picture or which letter to choose to get which picture to then be able to use the dingbats with my scan and cut canvas. So if I come down to one that I use quite a lot, which is Seru's flower ding, and I choose that, and I'll just make it a bit smaller so I can see more of the designs. If I hover over this first one, it's a capital letter A. This one's capital letter B, capital letter C. Then if I start to scroll through, this one says capital letter J. And then this is capital letter S and it will work its way through the alphabet. Then some of them are on lower. So this one says small letter B. This one here is small letter U. So now if I close that down and open up the Brother Scan and Cut font converter, and type a small letter U and a small letter B, I think it was, and go and choose Seru's flower ding from the list. It will give me a preview of those two pictures. I can click the word preview and I'll be able to see them bigger. And if they're the designs I want to use, 
I would say close and save. And then I would give this a name or leave it with the generic name, but I would always put it on my desktop so I know where it is. Then I would hit save, close the font converter down, and then I've already got a blank canvas open in Scan and Cut Canvas. So I would go to the SVG icon, choose that file I've just saved on my desktop, which is here. And it will then, once I say OK, open those two files or those two cutting shapes in my canvas. And if I zoom in, there they are, ready to save again in canvas or edit or add them to another shape, whatever I want to do. And then I can download and use them on my scan and cut machine. Now, the file that I saved here on my desktop is an FCM cutting file. So I could also just drag that onto a USB stick and put that in the machine. I don't necessarily have to open them in Canvas because once you use the font converter and save the file, it makes your scan and cut cutting file for you. But usually when I'm using a, using a dim, dingbat, I'm generally wanting to make a project within Canvas. So I tend to just put them on my desktop and then I open them here. Also, if you get into a habit of opening them in Canvas, you can save them and then you've got them again. And I would save this with something like Sarus underscore small b underscore small u and save it. And that way, if I can't remember in a year's time where I got these, or if I remember that they pro probably are from Sarah's Flowerding, but I've no idea what letters are used, I can open this file and there's a clue there in the name. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure the notifications icon is turned on and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.